my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. What are you looking for exactly? Oh, you like that? A fine choice. Thank you for passing through. Come now, don't be stingy. Kill anyone who tries. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Thank you, I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. on Ranrock's hands. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this?
We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Hey. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. あ、<笑> まだいる。ね。うわ。ディフェンド。This is going well. We make a good team. <laughs> we do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or we'll be discreet. You know which one I'd choose? Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. <laughs> Sneaking around has its appeal.多分回れってことだったと思うんだけどね、今の会話。こっち見てるな。Touch あ、目の前見られてた。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。ダブラボイ。
登りますえっ、ー、とあれ雲雲いるおおいるいるいる for better or for worse we're in Pavilion あ、二人だけ This line looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Wee. Up for a bit of dying, are we? How many of Ranrock's loyalists are in here? Two. They definitely think there's something here they want. No Borke. Ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Oh. Huh. Just, 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 just. Button mistaken. So, I can just put it there. I can just put it there. Right. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. I 
さかのネズミだった<笑>おやったねーよし行こうスベルースマッシングスコンジュスステイルズをそうだね。あリペアリーを。そうだよね。そうかも入れてたかもしれない。えー、これ。こっち側はいけないねあれ,れちょっと待って戻るしかないね。なかなかピチピチしてる。急に。Perhaps we can mend the bridge to get across the chasm. そうだね。The bridge to人が死んでるおやっと入ってきたよ。ちょっと待ってよ。あの見えてなかった。あぶねえ。何の宝箱ネックアイテム。こっちは行ったっけあれ来てないいや来たな来たけどあれを見逃していただけだちょっと待って
これってさこのまま放置したらどうなるてあーやっぱ戻るんだへえー、やっぱ一定期間だけなんだね We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Quieter than a job or not. Hi. Dame Nankai. Oh, Baretta Jan. あまりにも敵が多すぎるのでおた So, a raven claw, you certainly have a lot to learn. I want to watch your dummy. Rebellion. Now, incendio. Have a look around in peace. びっくりしたおっとどうあこれ Incendio. Ah, and another one. We should clear out these spider webs. Always seem to be in the way. So done. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. I wasn't expecting that. Here I go. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully, it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Quiet, she no. 
Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, Revelia. something about this place feels odd. Hmm. Check on Sebastian. Right. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see. Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is oh? that? Ah, so I got a car. Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. <sighs> you know, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Satteku! <gasps>
You'll never believe what I... What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learnt. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. What? References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. <sighs> I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. あ、そうだ、ポピーに話す。あ、セバスチャンのやつはやっぱり終わった。ぽい。ね。うん、終わったっぽい
あいたいたポピーおおグッドセーフ There you are You were in such a state when you left The poachers got to my gran Someone recognized me in Horntel Hall and they got to her What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness But they were at her house Our house They assumed I'd sent the egg there She said they took the whole place apart looking for it Screaming that we'd cost them everything Okay I'm sorry, Poppy I'm glad she's alright I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures.、Eh? One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is the Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. <laughs> From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as. Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Oh. Centaurs aren't known for being the friendliest lot. Especially not with wizard kind. And not right now. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. Okay. あ、読んでないやつがある。あ、いや、終わってるな。どこですか。結構上だね。ここ,こらへん。
こんななんかもやかかってたポルターガイストみたいな声聞こえてきたけど。Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak Gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serena's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serena trusts him, then I feel much better. <sighs> Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually, conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me, being self taught and all. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. <laughs> Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Oh. Pavelio. Eh, what is this? It's not a very far away place. Where is it? あ、ど、な、な、何エントランス。マイエントランス。あ、ここね